Hello from uh, Spain, uh, where we've just had the, uh, the Spanish Grand Prix, one uh, fantastic victory by Fernando Alonso and the Ferrari in front of um, his home crowd and all the, uh, the wonderful Spanish fans, very colourful and very wonderful. Uh, an exciting race, an eventful race. From our point of view, we had uh, four pit stops and that's one too many. Uh, we've always said we have two to three and uh, it's very complex. We understand for fans to follow four pit stops, although from another perspective, some people are telling us that the Spanish Grand Prix used to be the most boring uh, races of the season and there was a little bit more movement than more. But we admit we don't really want to see um, four pit stops on a regular basis. In fact, we've only seen once before in uh, Turkey in 2011. And why are we seeing this? Well, the cars are certainly pushing a lot harder uh, than what we've seen in the past. Uh, the, the downforce levels are getting close to 2011 when the cars had the blown diffuser. Uh, we also uh, are seeing that with our new structure of tyre, we're pushing much harder the compound. So combining those two together, and we're finding that uh, we, we are really uh, working the compounds much more than we have done in the past. Uh, we don't get to see the cars, of course, until we, we get racing with them. And uh, we don't have any in-season testing. We don't have access to those cars for testing. So, uh, unfortunately, we do have to learn sometimes when we're actually at the, the race events. We will make changes. We want to, to bring something uh, to, to Silverstone to, to make sure that we are back on track with our two and three stops. That could be compound changes, structure changes. We're going to decide that in a week. You can imagine though, if we make a change, it might be seen that uh, we're making tyres for Red Bull in particular. That's been the comment made in the, uh, the, the media, that uh, Red Bull are pushing to have a change. And uh, if we do something that helps them, you can understand that Lotus and Ferrari won't be happy. So it's a very difficult situation uh, we sometimes find ourselves in. The other thing we saw today was um, a few uh, punctures. The Torossa was probably the most evident. Um, there was a very clear coming together with a Sauber and the cutting the tyre, and that, that created the uh, denomination that we saw. Uh, I repeat again, it's not uh, something that happens uh, by chance, there is definite contact. Last year you would have actually punctured the tyre. Uh, this year the tyre stays inflated, but the weak point becomes the compound as it eats up due to, due to the cuts that are put into it. It's, it's not very good to be honest from a uh, tyre maker's point of view because visually it's, it's very dramatic. Um, you could say from a safety point of view, it, it's better. If last year it would have deflated, uh, this year the, the tyres stayed, uh, stayed up. Uh, they then put on a new set of tyres on the Toro Rosso. Um, unfortunately, the bodywork had been damaged and it cut through the tyre in the same manner just again. Uh, that's it. We're off to Monte Carlo next and we hope for another stimulating race.